I've either started to, or I'm deep down a camping chair rabbit hole now. Ever since I traded away comfort to save a little bit of space with compact chairs a couple years back, I've come full circle back to larger style camping chairs. If you don't have the room for a large chair, I get it. But if you do, this one might be the one for you. The more you know, the better equipped you are to find your forever chair. And today, I'm gonna show you one that you probably don't already know about. Iceco reached out to me and sent me their high back camping chair. They did not pay me for my opinions, my opinions are my own, and they agreed that I'm free to give you my honest opinion. So here we go. I already have the gray one out. Let me pull the other camel color one out and show you how it works. It's really easy and intuitive, but let's take a look anyways. Most bigger camping chairs come with these slip on and off bags, like you see here with this drawstring at the top. You know what I'm talking about. But these Iceco high back chairs come with this really nice zippered bag. It's even got like, backpack straps and that's so much easier than the drawstring look at that i definitely like that one of the great things about these larger style chairs is how quick and easy they are to set up compared to some of the compact ones so all you do is grab opposite corners and i put one of the feet down on the ground there just to make it easier and then pull those opposite corners away from each other and then you just flip up the high back and Voila, you're done. It's a big chair that's about 21 and a half inches wide between the armrests. The frame is aluminum and it feels solid. Iceco says it'll support up to 600 pounds. That's like 3.75 Mies. Considering it's pretty large size, it's light enough at 11 pounds that you can easily move it around with one hand. The fabric is 1600D Oxford, which is super heavy duty, and it feels like a nice heavy canvas. The armrests are made out of actual bamboo, not some flimsy plastic like most chairs. And as you can imagine, these armrests are super solid, so it makes it really easy to get out of the chair. The chairs also come with these storage bags that hang off the armrests, and they just snap into place like that. That way you can store your phone or a drink or book you're reading. They come in two colors, gray and camel. And one thing in particular that I was pleasantly surprised about, these have a 10 year warranty. What? Yeah, okay. So I'm 5'10", about a buck 60 when I haven't just eaten a double double at In-N-Out animal style with animal style fries and a chocolate shake, if you know what I'm saying. So this will give you a rough idea of how big this chair is. Just for comparison, here's a Helinox Chair 1 XL and here's the original regular size click. Aesthetics isn't generally a factor for me when choosing a camping chair, but come on, this is one good looking chair. Iceco also makes optional cushion covers for the high back chair. This one's called the flannel cushion, and I'm not exactly sure why they named it that because the material on the outside, the side that you sit on, feels like Alcantara, like a faux suede. And then the back side is like a heavy duty nylon. And it is quite cushioned though, with all that polyester fill inside of it. This one is called the plush cushion. There's not much cushioning, but it's definitely plush. It feels like a really nice fleece blanket. I'd imagine it'd be pretty cozy on a chilly day. Both cushion covers are super easy to put on and remove. They just slip on and off at the top there and then slip on and off at the bottom on the seat here. And then there are little drawstrings on both sides to cinch it up tight. And of course, they both come with zippered storage bags as well. Although the plush cushion here looks like it could be stored along with the chair if you wanted to. This one, not so much. So what do I think about the Iceco Highback chairs? Well, I'll tell you what I like about them. It certainly appears to be very well constructed. I mean, it just feels nice and solid. I really like that it's so easy to get in and out of these chairs, whether you're just out of shape like me, or you've already had a couple too many beers. But then again, half of me wants another ice cold beer, and the other half does too. I don't feel constricted sitting in this chair because it's so wide, and the high back is just great for resting your head. I guess unless you're in the NBA, like you'd probably be too tall, but I think it'll work for most people. I figured out that if you flip the high back down, you get a more upright seating position for 
like when you're eating. And I never thought I'd use the term pretty for a camping chair of all things, but it's a pretty chair. So who's this chair not for? Obviously, it's not for anybody looking for a compact ultralight chair. And it's also not for people who want lumbar support because it doesn't do that. Who's this chair for? Well, if you're looking for a heavy duty, high back, larger style camping chair that's easy to get in and out of and sets up in no time, this might just be your forever chair. I put a link below down in the description if you think this is the right chair for you. It is an affiliate link, so I do appreciate you using it if you end up buying one. Also, consider hitting the like and subscribe buttons for me if you found this video helpful. And even if you don't do any of those things, I just appreciate that you're watching. As always, remember, destinations don't matter, the journey matters. This is Roger wishing happy trails to you. Keep smiling until then.